Widespread power outages have ground to a halt a nation already on its knees, adding to a humanitarian disaster that has forced more than three million Venezuelans to flee their country. We want electricity. That's it. We want the power back on. The man who succeeded leftist firebrand Hugo Chavez as president in 2013, Nicolas Maduro, is blaming Washington for Venezuela's woes. We're facing the most serious aggression from U.S. imperialism that Venezuela has seen in its entire 200-year history. In toda la historia de 200 años de república. On Sunday, a senior White House official described what he envisions for Maduro. I hope his future uh, consists of living on a nice beach somewhere far from Venezuela. But the national uh, security Maduro, adviser suggested it will be Venezuelans who make sure that opposition leader Juan Guaido prevails. There are countless conversations going on between members of the National Assembly and members of the military in Venezuela, talking about what might come, how they might move to support the opposition. I do think uh, momentum is on the side of Guaido. U.S. lawmakers are weighing in as well with messages to Venezuela. Your fight for freedom and restoration of democracy is our fight, and the free world has not and will not forget you. To regime officials, if you want a future in Venezuela, and if you want a future free of U.S. sanctions that will follow you anywhere in the world, then you must recognize the legitimate interim president, Juan Guaido, and you must not have blood on your hands. Many Democrats back sanctions the Trump administration has imposed on Maduro's regime, but say armed U.S. intervention should be off the table. Loose talk about military action actually cements and emboldens dictators. The only interest we have is peace, liberty, and democracy for the Venezuelan people. That's it. America's top diplomat for Venezuela sought to reassure lawmakers that military action is not being contemplated. It is certainly not desirable, and it is not the path the administration is taking. Speaking at the White House last month, Bolton said President Trump is keeping all options on the table regarding Venezuela. On Sunday, he declined to make any predictions. We'll see what happens. Michael Bowman, VOA News, Washington.